What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm in uh, Tahoe again at the Adventure Van Expo. And if you guys watch my videos, you guys have seen Illumines bumpers on a lot of these vehicles. And there's a reason why. But I got Kenny here. How's it going everybody? Uh, yeah, tell us uh, all about your company and what, what you guys, what makes you guys different? Yeah, so uh, the big thing with us is we're all aluminum, so it doesn't rust, super lightweight, easy to handle, yet super strong. So uh, when weight is a consideration on your vehicle and you're up against your payload, you don't want some big heavy steel thing on it. So that's how we got our start. And then utility, having extra space. There's never enough space inside the van, so our stuff allows you to store things all over the place yeah because you guys are famous for your boxes as well yeah right? boxes yeah. and our roof racks and the racks so, yeah yeah it's almost like a second story for your, <laughs> your little tiny home yeah and we're gonna take some time here to really deconstruct everything you guys got so let's yeah. walk through everything you got here yeah so we can start with the transit here since okay. we're standing right in front of it this is our our new mini bumper i guess you could say um for the 2020 it's got a hidden winch mount in there works around all your factory sensors so cruise control, parking, collision prevention, put the 10,000 pound winch in there nice and easy, recovery points. Yeah, this this is uh, brand new, guys. They literally just finished making these things yeah. a couple days ago. Exactly. So this is the first, you, this is probably the first YouTube channel to feature this yeah. bumper from Illumines, which is awesome. I love that fact that I just caught you guys right exactly but uh yeah if you guys look right here point out what this is here yeah that's uh, the cruise control and collision prevention so you maintain all uh, that yeah, yeah so if your van is equipped with that it works with it and then it, it's still nice and sleek and hidden you don't have a big box like you see on some of the others yeah so when you guys build up these big four by four vehicles sometimes you know people get these humongous bumpers which some people yeah. need right you drive in canada you hit a moose yep. you need a big bumper we do but, that too but yeah <laughs> we're going to look at that in a second but some people don't need all that some people yeah. just need a winch and a little bit of bull bar protection or, or yeah. tow, towing yeah. uh what do you call them to just get recovery towed out points, recovery shackles. points yeah there yeah. you go and then this has your factory sensors as well exactly. so you kind of keep it simple exactly and there's no price yet these things are brand new they're figuring out the pricing yeah. but if i had to guess Let's just go high first. Yeah. Uh, around two thousand yeah. bucks, I'm sure. For the setup you see there, yeah. Yeah. All right. So cool. You got um, winch set up there for for your van. What else we got? Yeah. So um, you can kind of see the front of our roof rack here as well. So those are super popular for us. It's like it, a second story for your tiny home. I I like this. So when we get to camp, my kids always want to climb stuff. Yeah. That's the perfect vantage point to look oh, yeah. around you, know, you can get up there and put some lawn chairs up there yeah. enjoy sunset or, yeah that's awesome or uh, the waves at the beach that's uh, cool picnic up there if the weather's nice even set up and sleep up there yeah it's you could awesome. you could either just sleep on it with some padding or yep. you could put a rooftop tent rooftop right tents are yeah on them all the time like matter of fact there's a guy with a tent yep. up there right exactly. now that's one of our racks right oh there. is it yep. <laughs> awesome <laughs> Perfect, so, that's a perfect and then demo. And we cut around all the vents and ACs, so if you have any accessories on your roof that we need oh, to work around, nice. we can do all that nice and easy for you. Uh, um, I'm sure it just varies from vehicle to vehicle, but ballpark weight, how much can you carry up there? Uh, 750 pounds is what we say, but uh -huh. we've had people put a lot more. I mean, <laughs> they're we've built seen like things that. at Burning Man where there's parties going on up top. <laughs> they're like, hey, there's 10 people up there. Let's exactly. go. <laughs> so, awesome. I guess always refer to your owner's manual and yeah, yeah. stick to their weight rating. But there you go. Uh, when you're not moving, have a party, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah. We're doing um, some door hinge mounted stuff. There's a lot to unpack here. On the driver's side, you have have a ladder tire combo so just get up on yeah, so you can climb up to the roof look you at that these neat little fold up steps nice and easy to to access if you want to yeah can you get demo it ah oh, look at that so, super easy to get up there i like it yep. and then uh, this swings out with the door okay um, you can fit up to 35 inch tire on these if, if you can fit it that big on your transit. So it just opens with the doors? Oh, you just grab the door? Yep. Oh, I see. Oh, there you go. You can see how it's bolted on yeah. there, yeah. It's uh, no drill at all. Uh -huh. This is all factory mounting points. No drilling. Cool. And so, uh, which is pretty awesome. That is awesome. That's a lot of stuff. It's like very organized. Yeah. Very, very organized. Yeah, and so this is super configurable as well. Uh-huh. 
I love it. That is so awesome. Full size spare. What kind of what size tire can you fit? I guess you it can depends. Do a 35 if, if you want. 35. Some of the sprinters are doing 35s. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. This is this supports the tire as well, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Keep on going. Yeah. So um, this bike rack system, we have two long poles and then short poles. I see. Yeah. So in this configuration, you can do our mini box bike down low, so it's nice and easy to put a bike on there. Yeah. And then one bike up top. I like it. That's nice. If you wanted to get a bigger box, you could actually swap these two. Okay. Put a bigger box down below, two bikes up top. Nice. Or if you're not doing a tire and box, you can do two bikes down low. Uh -huh. So, um, what do you guys normally see your customers putting in these boxes? Because I know there's, yeah. I heard someone talking about generators and, and batteries, but probably not so much, right? So, on this box, it won't fit a generator. It's a little too skinny. Oh, We're yeah. trying to keep it as compact as possible. Um, but the bigger one. Yeah, right? the bigger boxes people are putting generators in. Uh, outdoor kitchens are really popular. Oh, yeah. So your stove tops, your little barbecues, uh -huh. uh, anything you don't want in the van that's dirty. So recovery gear, tire chains, battery yeah. cables. That's probably how it started off. It's just oh, putting yeah. recovery gear in there. Now, I see this is the brand of the bike carrier. Correct, yeah. Um, I'm assuming multiple brands can fit on here? Correct, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it's set up for like rooftop style bike carriers. Oh, okay, so as long as it's a rooftop roof style. Bars, then it'll mount to this. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you can see the clamps that would exactly. normally go on a rooftop. Exactly. Okay, cool. So we love the 1UP brand. They, they're super awesome. Shout out to 1UP right there. So tag them in the video. Right on. So yeah, they're, they're awesome. We use all their stuff. Nice, nice. Uh, wait, uh, do you have like ballpark pricing on this stuff if, in case somebody asks me? Um, the bike rack system without the box, I think is gonna be around 1500. We're still finalizing price on that too. Okay. Again, brand new product for us yeah. at the show. Oh, it's brand new. Cool, yeah, cool. and then the box, we're probably gonna be around 800 on. Okay, So. cool. Do you wanna get a shot inside the box here? Yeah, yeah. So this is the smaller one, like you yeah. said. So you still have access to the box with the bikes mounted, which is neat. That is cool. It's, like, it's almost like it's stepped. Yeah. Exactly. So and I got my leveling blocks, little toolkit. And, uh, it's uh, 30 inches tall, 12 inches wide to match your tire. Oh, okay. And then 20 inches deep. So. Okay. Gives you an idea. Yeah. Cool. And then of course, like I said, like you said, you can go bigger if exactly. you wanted to. Very cool. I like it. Yep. So that's the transit. All right. So you get over the sprinter, which we've kind of set up as more of the the heavy duty style. Nice. So we got the big bumpers front and back. This is a this is a really cool van. Kind of point out all the little stuff too, because I see you got some suspension work going on. Yeah. yeah. So working with Van Compass on the suspension. They got their new Falcon shocks Falcon out. Falcon adjustables. So yeah. Threw those on there and. So this is the so nice now. this is the V6 turbo diesel, right? Correct. Yeah. 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 All and this is four wheel drive. Correct. Yeah. yeah very so, cool. Uh, we'll have nice wheels and tires on it soon. Yeah. <laughs> Those are coming. So that's just enough to get out here. Exactly. Just enough to get the job done. Exactly. All right. So we were talking earlier about the big, humongous bumpers for hitting moose and things like that. <laughs> this is it right yeah, here, right? So it's protecting the whole front end. You're taking all your plastic off and putting that on there. Nice. Um, this is good if you're in deer country, elk country. Yeah. And the worst thing is midnight, you're tired, deer drop comes out in front of you, you uh, hit it. Yeah. And then you don't have cell service. Oh. That's the worst, speed. right? So with this, you're going to be able to drive away and not have to worry about getting stranded. And if you look close, guys, you still maintain your sensors. Yep. And then uh, your cruise control. Cruise control. Collision prevention. You got nice big lights, light yep. holes for uh, fog lights. Yep. And then this one doesn't have it, but you could put a winch, obviously. Yep. Obviously. It's got the recovery points in there. Uh, that's for your, your shackles yep. right there. Now, uh, these cutouts, are those just vents? Um, yeah, you can also mount a receiver to the bottom of it. Oh. Uh, so oh, you so you can put a two inch receiver. receiver. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you want to carry bikes on the front. Nice. Like that, you can. Nice. And then here's the body protection that you're talking yeah. about. So if you get a deer up here, it'll yeah. deflect that deer. Excuse all the ash that's falling from the sky. <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know, California has been dealing with some serious wildfires. And we're getting ash everywhere. Yeah. Um, funny story, I was at Overland Expo yeah. a couple years ago. And there was a guy that had your bumpers. Okay. And I asked him, I was like, why'd you go with the Lumines? He goes, he said he literally would not drive in Canada without your bumpers. Yeah. He, didn't, he, he, he postponed his trip yeah. until his bumpers came in. Yep. 
Because yeah, I guess he just didn't want to hit his deer. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And again, yeah. this this setup weighs about 95 pounds. Oh wow, so that's light. You're yeah. getting all that protection uh, yeah. with not much uh, suspension or brake. You're saving a lot of weight. Yeah, you're yeah. saving tons of weight. It's not going to sag roll. Uh, heavy in the front so that, that's important you maintain all yeah. the performance that you're putting in with your suspension yeah because because every pound that you add on suspension and bumpers and all that stuff or whatever tires yep. you're taking away from payload exactly yeah one less pair of shoes your wife can take <laughs> <laughs> exactly uh ballpark price on something like this this one's 27.50 gotcha gotcha it's, it's it's definitely not the cheapest but not the most expensive either right? yeah yeah very cool so, yeah it's competitive in the market yeah i think it's worth every penny exactly so and you know it saves uh, a big radiator or something like that if you were to get in yeah. an accident totally worth it ah that, that's a lot of money yeah exactly. so, here's a shot of the uh this is a different kind of roof rack yeah here so now, this right? is our modular roof rack and the neat thing about this is it all compacts into a small package that ships free in the lower 48 states. Oh. And it works around the standard vent locations on the Sprinter. Nice. And whether you have Max Air or Fantastic, front or rear, you can configure the panels kind of any way you want. Nice. So there's so an example right there. there. You kind of see. So you could cover everything or you can put vents or solar panel spots. Yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. I like that. And it's walkable too. Oh yeah. Walk up there, hang out. That's and then cool. new for the show, we've got kind of this light bar mount for it. Uh-huh. So it uh, adds a little more uh, appeal and it looks neat. Functionality too, yep. off-road. Yep. I like it. I like I you know what's funny is uh, it's still low profile. Oh, like yeah. you put the light down. Exactly. So if you put something long, you can still yep. carry that long exactly. long item. Exactly. Smart. Very Thank smart. You. Thank you. <laughs> cool. So, Let's go towards um, the back here. Yeah. Our famous koozies are here. You can actually hold a full beer in one of those on the side of your van. <laughs> nice. So come visit us at a show. We'll give you one. <laughs> so here's the bigger box you're talking about. Yeah. So this is the bigger box. Uh, a lot of people will put a generator, a shelf, and then extra stuff on top of it. We do this in both a drop down and a side open configuration, depending on your needs. The, yeah. the drop down is nice for outdoor kitchens and workspace. People don't really think about this. I mean, I know it's just a box, but when you buy a thousand dollar generator and it's outside your van, you're like, crap. Yeah, you know, somebody might steal that thing. Yeah. You know, you got to have a safe place to put it. Exactly. I like so, it. And then this one's also set up for bikes, so you can put all your bikes above it, which is nice. Uh, the bumper system's kind of cool because you can keep your van doors closed, open the swing arm, still have all this workspace and not let all the bugs and stuff inside. Yeah, so this one's obviously a little different. It's not yeah. attached to the Correct, door. yeah. So we do kind of whatever tickles your fancy more. If you like uh -huh. the door hinges where it opens with the door, we can do that. If you want to keep all your van closed and have a little more heavy duty set up, we can do nice. that too. And then clearly that's your bumper as well, yep. right? Exactly. So it can be set up with a um, tire and box or two boxes if you wanted to. So if you need tons of extra storage, you can put a, a, another box over here instead of a tire. Yeah, that, that would be a lot of external storage if you had two, yeah. two big boxes back here. Exactly. That'd be awesome. So Very cool. Yep. And it's got the windows on the side for the blind spot sensors and all that. How much... Again, ballpark price on this, yeah, roughly. So the, the bumper with the bike rack swing arm is 3500 mm -hmm. and then the boxes are sold separately, and depending on the size, they range in price from like six to eight fifty. You have a lot of options. Yep. Yeah, a lot of options. Very cool. Lots of options. And then, so, is this your rack as well, or your yeah, ladder? Yeah, ladder. Okay. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna climb up here real yeah, quick. Yeah, please climb up there. Show you guys what it looks like up here. Look at that. So there is the modular roof rack in all its glory. They got a vent there for the fan. Matter of fact, I'm going to just go all the way. Oh, yeah, look at that. So this is the biggest selling point of going with a full roof rack. Like you could walk all over this thing. Look at that. That is so cool. And then you get a vantage point up high of wherever you're at. You're at a race, you're at camping, whatever. You can get a bird's eye view. Very cool. My kids would love this up here. Put some tents up here and you're good to go. So for the guys that are wondering how much that 
roof rack is? Uh, that one is twenty-seven ninety-five with free shipping in the lower forty-eight states. Oh, right. yeah. That includes one vent cutout. Mm -hmm. uh, the new uh, kind of light bar mount on the front is going to be a five hundred dollar upgrade. And then if you need extra vent mounts, I think they're uh, two fifty per uh, vent kit. Cool. So if you have more than one vent, you can get. I got a little. Um idea a mix yeah. flip a mix flip exclusive idea if i got yeah. one of those i wish somebody would make like grab bars so oh, you yeah. could fold them up like on a boat yeah and you can like you know stand on the yeah. edge with the grab bar we actually did a, a uh. custom roof rack for a, a race team down in baja ah. where we we did that exact thing they had a <laughs> big ladder that they stored inside the uh yeah. inside the the trailer yeah. and then these fold up railings so they could watch all the races from, yeah, yeah. from the top of their their trailer so <laughs> neat little project we did back yeah. in the day so. I'd, I'd probably need it. I'd probably need just a small four by yeah. four by four section of exactly. Of rack it's like a rail. playpen for the kids. A too. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. So cool. Yeah. So uh, ladder there. That's seven fifty with free shipping. Um, we also do a surf pole. So if you wanted to do uh, stand up paddle boards on the side of your van, nice. I've seen. We have like an that. accessory like that. Uh, not on this van for now, but yeah. Um, and then we also do side steps. And of course, uh, for the guys wondering too, you guys make stuff for all kinds of models right? yeah so yeah. ford chevy dodge toyota mm -hmm. uh, trucks bumpers, too yeah trucks too so yeah. if you're into the four-wheel camper thing pop-up camper i'm getting a tundra i might have yeah. to call you guys there up you man exactly where are you guys based out of by the way so main headquarters is santee which is uh just east of san diego oh okay and, southern and california we have, uh, another manufacturing facility in hayden idaho oh that we're shipping out of, so. i was just in yellowstone a couple oh, cool. uh, weeks ago yeah i should have stopped by up there yeah Where's that? What part of Idaho is that? It's uh, just north of Coeur d'Alene. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to be going to Glaciers. Okay. So I'll have to yeah, stop by and stop just by say hi. Say hi yeah. Give you guys a shout out when I come yeah, up through there. For sure. Cool. All right. So let's end this with a website if you guys want to know more. Yeah. www.illuminest.com. Uh, email us at info at And yeah, love to hear from you. Cool. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. It's pretty obvious which route I'm going to go when I get bumpers for my truck. Illuminous. All right. Check them out. Thank <laughs> you.